I've got two different types of patches here. The first set of patches, I'm going to use this one here. So you've got to put the patch on the lower part of your body, but it's a tiny little thread. That was me at the start of my hormone replacement therapy journey, in other words, HRT, and I've been taking it for five weeks now. So I wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm getting on taking HRT, because I get a lot of questions about this. And before I started taking HRT, I actually got a ton of questions from women asking me if I took it. So I wanted to be really honest with you guys and give you an appraisal of what I think it's like taking HRT, why I'm taking it, what the pros and cons are. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in fantastic shape and one of the things that prevents us from actually getting in shape is what's happening with our hormones and I do talk a lot about this so I wanted to be completely honest with you guys and give you an update since I've actually just started taking hormone replacement therapy five weeks ago. Now, I'm not taking it for weight loss. I actually had a number of symptoms which ended up really impacting on the quality of my life. I was getting night sweats. I was having extreme fatigue. I mean, really, really tired all the time. I was struggling to sleep and I was also experiencing mood swings. Now, some of you might be wondering at this point, why didn't I go down the route of taking natural supplements? Well, some of the supplements, and I still take them, are ashwagandha, for example. But I didn't go down the route, I must admit, of taking black cohosh for my night sweats. And I know some people find that that really works for them. But because I was having a number of other symptoms, not just night sweats, I decided to consult my doctor. Now, one of my concerns is I actually have fibroids. Taking extra estrogen for me, I was worried about it. But my doctor did put my mind at rest and she basically told me it was a personal choice as to whether I decided to go down the road of HRT because it was impacting on my quality of life or to stay as I am and just kind of work through things. And so what I decided to do was go down the road of HRT. Now, at this point, I wanna say, this isn't an advert me promoting the benefits of taking HRT. I'm gonna give you an honest appraisal of how I've been getting on. And I know some of you watching will wanna go down the natural route or you don't take any supplementation at all. And some people to want to take HRT. And that's entirely up to you. It's it's a personal choice. I'm not promoting one thing or the other. I'm just telling you my own personal experience with it because I know that when I've talked about this on my other channels on Instagram and on TikTok, people have really actually valued watching me and learning from my own personal experience. And so that's all this video is. It's my own personal experience. If you want to find out what doctors think about it, I've actually done a live with two menopause doctors so i will link that at the end of this video and this is what it looks like and i actually did a live with a naturopath doctor who specializes in menopausal women who's very much a proponent of natural remedies so i will link those two videos the first thing i'm going to talk about is diet and lifestyle because i know i've had a ton of comments from people saying because your diet's not right and your lifestyle's not right. If you get your lifestyle and diet sorted out, you're gonna be able to manage the symptoms. But actually, having talked at length to Dr. Natasha Ryan, actually privately from interviewing her on my channel, she actually said that my diet and lifestyle is really good. And so for a menopausal woman, I'm not overweight. 
I'm not eating badly. I'm eating essentially a healthy whole foods diet, which is what I recommend for women over 40. I'm getting in plenty of protein. I'm not eating too many artificial additives. You know, I'm not having too much sugar, which can cause problems with menopause. And I'm not having lots of chemicals added to my food. So my diet is pretty good. The thing that I do need to improve on is actually my gut health. There's a possibility that I do have some food intolerances, so I'm getting tested for that because that might actually help manage my symptoms if I can get on top of my gut health. At the start of this process, I started taking estrogen patches and I'm also taking progesterone only pills, which I actually use for birth control. I'm not getting a menstrual cycle, but because it's within 12 months of my last menstrual cycle, my doctor recommended that I take these progesterone only birth control pills. So how did I get on? Well, for the first couple of weeks, I actually didn't really notice a great deal of difference. And definitely in week three, this is when my doctor said I would start to notice an improvement. So what's happened? So I'm going to talk about the pros first. So what I noticed is my night sweats have really improved because before taking HRT, I was having to change four or five times in the night and I was literally soaking wet. I mean, my bed was soaking wet and it was getting a little bit embarrassing sleeping with my partner and waking up, you know, every hour with these night sweats. The window was wide open. It was getting cold here in the UK, so it wasn't hot. That has now almost completely disappeared. I mean, I get a bit hotter at night, but I'm not getting this thing of being soaking wet. So that is absolutely amazing. The other thing that I feel is improved is I'm in a better mood. And also I don't feel as fatigued as I did before I started taking HRT. So those things have improved. My brain fog, I'm not sure. I still think I do some very scatty things and my brain fog is not brilliant. So I am going to be looking at kind of taking some natural supplements to improve that. But it could be that the longer that I go having my HRT, that that actually improves over time. But what I would say, and I know this is the experience of many women that have commented on my videos, is I have noticed some weight gain. So looking at what I weighed just before I started taking HRT and three weeks in, I actually went up by 2.5 kilos, which is about 5.5 pounds. So quite a significant weight gain. Now, what I did notice though, that came off shortly afterwards. So I actually dropped by about a kilo and a half, which is about three and a half pounds. It came back off and that indicates to me that's actually about hormones the weight gain which is no surprise is it you know i'm taking in this extra estrogen and it was probably just water weight water retention and i was getting that anyway at certain times of the month when i was having a menstrual cycle so that's no different if you're taking hrt is it if you're going to have some fluctuations in your hormones and my body's just adjusting to that potentially your weight is going to increase i'm not too worried about that now it's just a couple of pounds i am as always watching what i eat keeping to a certain amount of calories, which is between 1600 and 1800 calories, and I'm working out. Will I continue on with HRT? I am gonna continue on for the time being, but I talked about Dr. Natasha Ryan, um, and I went on her workshop, and she's actually gonna be running another workshop on the 12th of December. And I will link that in the description. And one of the things that I learned about was a lot more about managing my menopause symptoms using natural remedies. So there is a chance I am going to start moving on to that, although, I'm scared of cutting back the HRT because the problem with that is I've actually been experiencing a much better quality of life because of it. So because it's working, I feel really reluctant to kind of 
change anything, but I am exploring those other options in terms of natural remedies and, and boosting my estrogen perhaps naturally might be the way forward. And of course, it's not only looking at supplements. I talked about nutrition, didn't I? The other things are working on reducing your stress levels, getting a better night's sleep. The ashwagandha and the L-theanine can be good supplements for getting a better night's sleep. Having some really good sleep strategies in place. You've got to work on your sleep. You've got to kind of be mindful of actually trying to get a good night's sleep because it doesn't come that easily to women in this age group, does it? And those things can definitely be, be beneficial, not only for managing your menopause symptoms, but your overall health and your body's ability to actually lose body fat and not gain body fat, which can happen to a lot of women this age. Do let me know in the comments section of some of the things I've been talking about have been impacting on you. And I know there are much wider menopause symptoms than I've just talked about. I've just talked about my own symptoms. It actually impacts on every aspect of your life menopause. It impacts on your mental health because it can cause anxiety. It can impact on your work because it can impact on your ability to actually earn money. If like me, you're feeling extremely fatigued, it can impact on your physical health and it can impact on your weight. So we should never underestimate how much this condition that every female has to go through at some stage in her life, whether it's through hysterectomy or it's naturally occurring, everyone has to go through menopause, don't we? So I'd love to hear from you and what you think about it.